Hey, it's Computer Help here. Um, I'm going to show you how to play I t music on your iTunes, not using iTunes itself. Uh, some people don't like iTunes because it's, I don't know, I, I don't like its player as much. Like, I like to use Windows uh, player because I can, one, if I'm having, like, if I connect it to something, I can play bass and stuff. So some people like to do this, so, and some people don't know how, and I'm going to show you today. Well, first, let's show you my iTunes. Uh, you can see I have a bunch of music and when you go into the files you actually see all this music here um, so here let's go find it alright so first off I'm running Windows 7 uh, 64 bit Asus laptop so if you're running Windows I don't know if it's the same way or Windows XP at least I don't I don't know if it's on how it is on Mac this is only on Windows that I know of Anyways, so you go to the libraries you go to music you go to iTunes you go to iTunes media and you get right then you go to music let me do that again oh slower so first off you have to go to music in your libraries right there'll be I have a bunch of folders because I have random things on here but you go to iTunes then iTunes media the music and you'll see all your I mean look at you have all your albums and your songs and I mean everything and if you want to play one of these songs like uh, say some Guns N' Roses say I wanted to play some Welcome to the Jungle but I don't want to play it on anything else well I have it so that if I ever if like some people have it your default is you play it on iTunes. Well, I don't. I went to choose default program, and I chose Windows Media Player. Always select programs of this kind. If you, if you want to, you can just go. If you don't want to do this, you can just right click it and press open with every time. But if you want to always, that's when you make noise. Well, thank you. This has been Computer Helper. If you need me to do anything, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, I'll also put this on my blog at uh, the computer helper at gmail.blogspot.com. I'll put a link to that. Uh, if you need anything, you can always email me, and I'll try to get <laughs> try to get to helping you as soon as possible. Thank you.